Hi there, I'm Jeff Corwin, and welcome to a rather unique episode of Ocean Mysteries. Right now, we're in one of the aqua labs here at the Georgia Aquarium. The focus of today's expedition is all up with this absolutely jewel-like, gorgeous, but incredibly destructive species of fish, the lionfish. In its native habitat, it's very much a valuable part of the ecosystem. But around the world, as an invasive species, it's causing tremendous amounts of destruction. This is a journey that is global. It'll take us to the front lines of this conservation battle, trying to save the environment and keep this species. Pacific Ocean lionfish have invaded the Atlantic Ocean. But just how well can they survive in this new ecosystem? If lionfish are being found at 100 feet, could we expect to see them at 200 or more? To find out, we're traveling to the Caribbean, where my friends at substation Curacao have offered to help us. This baby, my friends, is the Curacao. Think of it as a high-tech submarine known as a man submersible. And we'll be hanging out in here. Our mission is to go out there in this reef system to try to investigate the impact of these lionfish. Specifically, where are they going? We know that divers are going down there and countering them as deep as a diver can go. But do they go deeper? This potentially could answer that question. And if we come across one of these lionfish, we've rigged this right here. Bruce, explain what we have going on right here. Um, well, this is just a standard pole spear, small pole spear. You just rig it, just push it back. So now it's armed? Yeah, it's armed and dangerous. So if this was a lionfish right here, and the lionfish is swimming up. And then we go, boof. Boom. And hopefully we have ourselves a lionfish. This unique five-person submarine is a state-of-the-art piece of technology. It's certified to travel 1,000 feet below the ocean, and it's piloted by Barbara Van Better, one of only two female submarine pilots on Earth. Our mission is to find out just how deep these invading fish have penetrated the Atlantic Ocean, and if possible, remove them. All right, she's good to go. This vessel weighs over three tons, and the first challenge is simply getting it into the water. A massive crane does the trick. This sub has been custom designed for tourism, but also for scientific discovery. We'll be traveling deeper underwater than I've ever been before. And any lionfish we find will be brought back to the surface for examination. All right, guys. Let's go where few have gone before and find ourselves some lionfish. Okay, topside, topside is Curacao, hatch is closed, secured, we're standing by for your signal. Okay, Curacao, this is topside on four beats. Uh, you are winched down, you can enable your thrusters and proceed forward on legs. Copy them. All right, guys, here we go. The Curacao rides smooth as we travel out of the harbor and into the reef. This mighty machine will allow us to experience the ocean in ways a diver could never hope to achieve. And the first stop on our voyage is simply amazing. So right now we're about 180 feet in depth. We're at this wreck, basically two tugboats that have become an artificial reef. Boy, they have attracted a lot of life. We've got this monster dog tooth snapper. It's huge. We've got all these different sorts of wrasse, for example, creole wrasse. But again, just about everywhere we look, lionfish. Just immediately in this area, I've counted six lionfish. It seems invading lionfish are taking over this ecosystem as well. We're finding them everywhere, but just how deep have they gone? We're about to find out. HP Air 2100, depth 426, and all scrubbers are working and heading east. 225, 227. Already, we have dived far deeper than most recreational divers will ever experience in their entire lives. And now, we are coming to the face of the reef. It is dark, and it is mysterious, but it's incredible. 
Okay, top side, here comes five supports. 02, 19 decimal, 5. Cabin pressure equal, line pressure on port side, 100. Zero, zero. All scrubbers working and depth 430, still heading east. As we get deeper, it'll get colder and darker. You can think of this place as like going to the moon. It is it's equally treacherous, remote with regard to how you get there. Incredible discoveries to be had. At nearly 450 feet, we've traveled into the twilight zone, a depth where sunlight fades away, leaving the water in endless darkness. It seems impossible for lionfish to survive this far down, but the ocean is full of mysteries. Don't go away. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Ocean Mysteries. We're on board the Kura sub, and we're heading down. Invading lionfish are threatening to overtake this Caribbean ecosystem, and our mission is to find out just how deep they've gone. We're at, oh my goodness, we're at 430 feet deep. Still have about 600 feet more to go. And the first thing you notice is that it's rather drab down here. Interesting, eerie, exciting, but not a lot of color. Because color isn't that important in a dark place. At the surface, or in waters upwards to 100 feet or less, you can find corals with bright colors because they're harnessing the sun's energy and colors are part of their survival. But down here, in the darkness, when things are illuminated, you can see they're cryptic, they're gray, but very fascinating. They may be gray and drab, but these native plants and animals belong down here. Lionfish, on the other hand, do not. Bruce and I scan the darkness for any signs of movement. Remember, we're over 400 feet down. Oh yeah, there, there he is, then, yep. to the left. See yep. that? Got a yep. on right there, for all the above. Look right there right in front of our eyes, in front of this net. What we were fearful of witnessing down here has been confirmed right before our eyes is a giant lionfish. We are at 414 feet in depth. This confirms that they can survive in, in incredibly deep waters. Who knows the impact that this species can have on these fragile, specialized animals living down here. But what we know about this invasive species is that it's adaptive, it can change. This is a creature that's normally found in shallow waters. But here he is, in the deep waters. This is something really remarkable. We're actually some, seeing some of the predatory behavior. You can see he is pursuing that little fish beneath him. He's going down after that little fish, and he's opening up that fan of fins. Literally, in some cases, people say it almost um, hypnotizes, has a hypnotizing effect. He's doing it right now. You can see he is armed with dozens and dozens of those syringe-like spikes riddled with venom. And what's really unnerving about this is we're seeing him in these very deep waters. But this lionfish, we're gonna try to nab him. Now it's up to Bruce to carefully set the spear gun using the sub's hydraulic arm. So we're arming the sphere. Trying to arm it with the hydraulics. It's delicate work on land, not to mention at over 400 feet below. Spear, spear is armed. All right, here we go. Bruce is in position. A little closer, a little bit to the right. A little bit down, 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 down. Yeah, he got it. Got him. Got him. Good job. Congratulations. You're a hero. First shot. And there's the lionfish. And I know what you may be thinking. This is Ocean Mysteries. It's about exploring and celebrating life in a reef system like this. But this is an alien species, an invasive species. Through no fault of its own, this species has the potential of overtaking and outcompeting the native wildlife living here. 
So whenever there's an opportunity, scientists and conservationists need to do whatever they can to remove this species from these waters. But here's the thing, there is no waste. We will study this fish, we will see what it's been eating, we will try to learn about it and come up with a management plan. And that is coming up next.